Hello student, here is a question which says a long horizontal rod has a bead which can slide along its length. Initially it is at a distance L from end A of the rod. The rod is set in angular motion about A with constant angular acceleration alpha in a gravity free space. If the coefficient of friction between the rod and the bead is mu, then the time after which the bead starts slipping is okay so we will so we will draw a diagram according to the question that we are having a rod and a bead is fitted on the rod like this which is at a distance l from the end a and the rod is rotating about this end and the bead is completing a circle like this of radius L. So the bead will experience a centrifugal force outward which is m omega square r and the radius is L so we can write m omega square L. And friction acts towards the center as centripetal force and tries to stop the bead from slipping. So if the slipping is yet to start then the friction is balancing the centrifugal force means after this point friction after this point the bead will start slipping because due to angular acceleration omega will increase and friction will not be able to stop the bead from slipping that is why this is the margin condition you can say we also know that friction is equal to mu times of n where n is the normal force and normal force is acting like this and this is equal to mass into tangential acceleration and we know that tangential acceleration is equal to alpha r where r is radius which is length l now put the values here so friction is mu times n equal to m omega square l so mu n is mass into a t which is alpha l equals to m omega square l. So m is cancelled out, l is also cancelled out and mu alpha becomes equals to omega square. Now we know that v equals to u plus a t. The similar equation for this is in circular motion omega equals to omega naught plus alpha t. And omega naught is 0 because initially the rod starts rotating from 0, that is why omega naught is 0. So omega becomes equal to alpha t square, alpha t whole square. So mu alpha equals to alpha t whole square. And we have to calculate the time. So mu equals to alpha, alpha into t square. So t equals to root under mu upon alpha. Okay. So I hope you understood this question and the option number first is the correct option. Thank you very much for watching.